Ying Ling saw thirty-two animals in the farm. There were ducks and goats in the farm. She counted eighty-four legs altogether. Those eighty-four legs, of course, they belong to the ducks, which there are two legs for the ducks and goats. There will be four legs for it. How many goats were there in a the farm? So we're gonna use supposition to solve this question right now, and I came up with a short form to help you remember the steps. It's called S D D. Okay, step number one is to make a supposition. It's something like an if statement. So if all animals were something. So in this case, should we make the supposition for all to be goats? Now, remember, if you make a supposition that they are all goats, our final answer would be ducks. Okay, so it's the other way around. So now we have to make a supposition that they were all ducks because the question wants the number of goats. Right, suppose that all animals were ducks, how many legs are there all together? It will be 2 times 32 because total there are 32 animals and I will get 64 and this 64 refers to the legs of all the ducks. But let's make a comparison. In the question they say there are 84 legs but when we make a supposition, there are only 64. So step number two, we have to find the excess or the difference between the actual and supposed for the number of legs. Okay, this can get a little bit tricky. So we break it up into two parts. First is the total number of legs. All right. So the total number of legs, remember, actually there was 84. But the part that we have supposed, making the if statement, there was 64. So the difference is 20 for the total number of legs. Now, the second difference is individual difference. Of legs. So we're going to look at the duck and the goat. Remember, the goat have four legs, whereas for a duck, there's only two. So we get a difference of two. So I can take it as total difference and individual difference. The last step, which is D, is division. We are going to divide the difference and we will get our answer straight away. So let's take a look. We are going to take total difference divided by individual difference. Which means in this case is 20 divided by 2 and we will get the answer of 10 and 10 is the number of goats and that's our answer now I made an extra step which is step 4 to check your answer so now we have gotten 10 goats we want to check and make sure that there are 84 legs all together in the farm and total of 32 animals. So there are 10 goats. So 10 goats times 4 legs would be 40 legs. And if there are 10 goats, so which means there would be 22 ducks. 22 ducks times 2 would be 44. And if I add the number of legs together, 40 plus 44, I got 84. And this answer of 84 must match the criteria given in the question. This is the last step to check. So, 
The first one, letter S, is to make a supposition. The second letter, D, is to find the difference. And to find the difference, you have to find total difference, individual difference. The third D is to divide or division. And of course, the last step you can add in is C to check. So S, D, D, C. The second method that we're going to try to solve this question is using guess and check. So we have to come up with a table and I have come up with a very, very simple table to help you. So we start off with goats. That's our first variable. And then ducks for the second one. And the third one is the total legs for both goats and ducks. And we have the last column that's called the check. So guessing would be what we are doing later on in the table and checking, we are checking against the criteria. So the criteria for the total number of goats and ducks would be 32. And the total number of legs in the question mentioned will be 84. So we write the criteria on top to remind ourselves. And let's draw the table. Like this. And don't complete the number of rows because you do not know how many times you need to guess to get your answer. So usually I will start off with the middle number by guessing the number of goats and ducks. So 32 divided by 2, I will have 16. So 16 goats, 16 ducks. So now we're going to find the number of legs for goats. 16 times 4 gives me 64. As for ducks, 16 times 2 gives me 32. And the next step to find the total number of legs in the goats and ducks will be 64 plus 32. I have 96. So checking that against our criteria, yes, we have 32 animals, 84, but it's not 84. So our answer here is wrong. So checking, just put a strike out. And that's our first attempt to find the answer. So we move on to the next row. And should we increase the number of goats or should we increase the number of ducks? Let's see. Our number of 96 is too far away or larger than 84. So since we know that goats have four legs and ducks have two, we are going to decrease the larger number, which is goats, because four is larger than two. So let's try decreasing it by two. And let's have 14. 14 times four gives me 56. If I have 14 goats, there will be 18 ducks. 18 times 2, 36. And now let's add up 56 plus 36 gives me 92. And again, it's not my answer. So let's try with 10 now. 10 times 4 gives me 40. If I have 10 goats, that means there will be 22 ducks. So 22 times 2 gives me 44. Adding up the total number of legs, 40 plus 44 equals 2. Oopsie. 40 plus 44 gives me 84. And 84 meets the criteria of 84. And we've gotten the answer. So now answering the question, they ask for number of goats. So number of goats would be 10 here. And that's my answer.